The Vulcan was actually the first jet bomber to use a delta wing design, which gave it a very distinctive look. The original prototype, known as the Avro 698 Vulcan, was built in response to a British Air Ministry requirement that came out on January 1st, 1947. It had its first flight on August 30th, 1952. Initially, it was powered by four Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines. Later on, those were swapped out, first for Bristol Siddeley Sapphires, and then eventually for Rolls-Royce Conways, as the design evolved. The second Vulcan prototype was powered by four Bristol Siddeley Olympus 100 engines and had a slightly longer fuselage. That extra length meant they didn't have to shorten the nose wheel leg when it retracted. This version took its first flight on September 3rd, 1953. Later, they gave it a new set of wings with a redesigned leading edge that had a more complex sweep back shape. It first flew with those updated wings on October 5th, 1955. Then, on August 31st, 1957, it began testing the larger wing design that would be used on the Vulcan B2 model. All the Vulcans that went into production were built with the updated wing design featuring the revised leading edge. There were two main versions made. The first was called the Vulcan B1, and it was powered by either Olympus MK101 or MK102 engines, though later on, all of those engines were upgraded to the Olympus MK104 standard. By 1960, three RAF Bomber Command squadrons had been fully equipped with this version. The B1A was basically an upgraded version of the B1. It got extra electronic systems housed in a bulge tail cone, similar to what the later B2 had. In total, 45 of the B1 and B1A variants were built. The B2 was a more advanced version, came with more powerful Olympus MK201 or 301 engines, a larger wingspan with new Elevon controls for better handling, and it could carry the Blue Steel standoff nuclear missile. The first B2 rolled out and flew on August 30, 1958, and production of this version continued until 1964. 